guys, oh, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I have something very interesting to show you and I cannot believe I did not see this before, but uh, as I don't really mine ETH hash on my Nvidia cards, it has been brought forward to me that Nvidia cards have been getting lower hash rate on ETH hash, mining like Ethereum or Ethereum Classic. And I want to show you guys the disparity and the hash rates that people have been saying they've been losing. And I have some information regarding that. And so I want to talk about that later in this video. But first, I want to show you the hash rates, okay? So so right now, this is my 7x GTX 1060 rig. And I'm just testing out, uh, let's see, ethermine.org right now. And I'm mining Ethereum, okay? Uh, using Phoenix Miner. At these clocks, you guys can see, at 60 power limit, minus negative 200 core, plus 500 memory. I am getting right now 19 to 21 mega hash on these 1060s. Now, from what I remember in the past, on Ethereum or Ethereum Classic, I was usually getting like 23 or 24 mega hash. And I can show you guys that, a good example right now, mining Callisto, okay? So Callisto obviously has a lower DAG file right now. Comparative to Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, their DAG files right now are middle ground 3.5 gigabytes or so, okay? And Callisto right now is at 2.3 gigabytes. I just, I just saw in the miner here, uh, you guys can see 2.3 gigabytes right now. So the epoch is very low. You guys can see with my same overclocks in MSI Afterburner, I am getting 23, 22 to 23 mega hash on these cards now. I didn't change any overclock or undervolt settings. You guys can see we're getting a little bit more mega hash and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we're using Phoenix Miner, by the way. I am not using Claymore Miner or any of the dash straps. Uh, I did test out Claymore Miner and I am getting the same thing. I was getting like 21 to 22 mega hash with Claymore, uh, sorry, 20 to 21. And then using Callisto with Claymore Miner, I was getting a little bit more uh, using the dash straps, okay? So exact same example with Phoenix Miner. You guys can see the disparity there. Okay, so that is what I want to show you with my 1060s. So now I'm going to show you guys an example with my 1080 Ti's. And realistically, you know, normally people have been getting, you know, 56 to 55 mega hash on a 1080 Ti. But now with my 1080 Ti's, and I did make a video for my hash rates before, okay? I was able to get about 302 mega hash for the whole rig. Uh, at these overclock settings, obviously, but now, okay, now at these overclock settings, I had to bump it down. I bumped up the power limit, actually. I'm only getting about 50 mega hash. Look at that. Look at that disparity there. 50 mega hash. I'm not getting the theoretical 54 or 55 mega hash, and I'm using the ETH enlargement pill as well. I'll show you guys now Callisto, okay? So let's open that up. You guys can see the hash rates for Callisto. It'll, it's going to be a pretty big difference here, and... Yeah, I mean, same algorithm, okay, mentioning before that it, this is the same algorithm ETH hash, and uh, the DAG file for Callisto is a lot lower, okay, so what's happening here in my opinion and from what I've been reading online is that the DAG file is getting much larger and there needs to be a fix, like an NVIDIA driver fix for the DAG issue, okay, similar to what happened to the AMD cards back in 2017. Okay, so waiting for this hash rate here, and boom, there you guys go, see? Same overclock settings, I didn't change anything. We're mining Callisto now. The DAG file is about 2.3 gigabytes, and we're getting 54 mega hash, all right? 54 to 55 mega hash now. And okay, so you guys saw that disparity there. I'm not lying, I'm not showing anything fake here. And I'm wondering if any of you guys have noticed this with your NVIDIA cards. And yeah, across the board from my cards, I, I've tested a few cards now, 1080Ti's, 1060's, and my P104's. I've noticed a lower hash rate on these cards, okay? So I feel like a driver or something may need to be fixed, okay? So 54 mega hash. All right, so I'm gonna close that. Now I wanna show you guys from what I've been reading online regarding the drivers, okay, specifically. So there is someone that has already asked this question back in January 22nd, I believe, of 2020. So yeah, a couple months ago. He says here, hello, I want to find out whether NVIDIA will release a version of the blockchain drivers to support miners, as AMD did at the time. 
since the hash rate on ethash algorithm has significantly decreased with the increase in volume of the DAG file, especially on the 1070 and 1080 Ti cards and 1060s, which I just showed you guys, which is typical of the 1070 Ti and the 20 series cards, this problem has not touched. We are waiting for an answer since it is very important for us miners that develop developers support their customers. Thanks. Second comment here. Here is a comment from the developer of a miner about this problem. Uh, he says here, This is a long-standing problem with N NVIDIA 10 series cards as it started above the certain size of the DAG and gradually lowers the hash rate with each new epoch. It seems to be related to the TLB size, and TLB size, which I have a definition here, uh, a translation look-aside buffer, TLB, is a memory cache that is used to reduce the time taken to access a user memory location. It is part of the CHIPS Memory Management Unit, MMU. Okay, so that's the definition of TLB. At this point, the only workaround is to increase the power limit and thus indirectly the core clock, but whether it is worth it depends on your electric electricity prices. We are testing some theoretical fixes for this problem, but the results are not very encouraging. NVIDIA could probably fix could probably fix this with a driver update by increasing the page size as AMD did in the past, but it is not very likely that it will bother they will bother to do it. I would like to hear a response from NVIDIA. NVIDIA responds, okay, so January 23rd, 2020, he responds with, I would suggest filing a bug. The instructions are linked to a sticky post at the top of this form. And uh, nothing has come of it since then. Uh, January 26th, another commenter said, I am curious about that, also curious about that. And another final comment here on this topic was, any news on this issue? Many people need a solution to this. Thanks. So that is April 8th. So just recently, th this month, April 8th of 2020, people are already figuring out this issue with NVIDIA cards getting lower hash rate on ETH hash due to the DAG size from what I've been reading, okay? And whether or not that's true or not, you guys can give your opinion down below, let me know. Okay, now I'm going to talk about basically, you know, AMD got the fix for their DAG fix back in 2017. So around August 2017, uh, they had the official mining drivers. And so some of you that were mining back then, I was mining back then, I do remember the blockchain specific drivers, okay? The, the blockchain compute workload driver. Yeah, this driver was released about in August of 2017 and AMD already had the fix for the Polaris cards, mainly uh, as people had all Polaris cards, mainly for mining and of course mining Ethereum. Uh, this, this driver w was helping out in terms of the lost hash rate, the lower hash rate due to the DAG size for Polaris cards, okay? So I'm curious if NVIDIA is going to have a driver fix for us miners. And uh, as I showed you guys with my hash rates of my 1060s, you know, we we were getting lower lower hash rate, like a couple mega hash lower. It's, it's not really a lot, uh, but of course, as the epoch goes higher, as the DAG becomes bigger, we are probably gonna get less and less hash rate uh, for those that have NVIDIA cards. Now, there was also, okay, I'm gonna talk about the Navi cards real quick here. The Navi cards was supported for the DAG fix, okay? So apparently, uh, this, is, this is commented by Claymore when he was creating the kernel for Claymore 15 uh, for the Navi cards, okay? So basically, he says, there, says here, the new version with Navi cards is support is ready. I will release it when AMD releases a DAG fix drivers. It will be soon. So similar to what I think is happening on the NVIDIA cards right now, uh, we need to have basically a fix for a driver fix for the NVIDIA cards, all the all the 10 series cards. OK, so, yeah, for people that have 10 series cards, you know, I. I, 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 like I said before, I, I didn't really see this because I wasn't mining Ethereum or ETH hash on my NVIDIA cards. I've been mining like other coins and uh, like core dependent coins, you know, as ETH hash is mainly memory dependent uh, on a GPU. Okay. So, but yeah, you guys can see the disparity here. And I wonder if any of you have noticed this before, please let me know down below. It's, it's quite interesting to see the hash rate much lower. All right, but you know, as I'm mining Callisto right now, it's it seems to be back up to kind of normal. Um, I'm sure if I bumped it up another hundred, let's see if I go 600 uh, memory here, mem clock, I should maybe get up to 24. Let's see, 23. 
I remember getting 23, 24, yeah, 24 mega hash on these 1060s. These are the Zotac Mini 6 gigabyte cards. Uh, so yeah, the hash rate is going up a little bit, 23.5 from 23 mega hash, okay? Just bumping it up another 100 mega hash. Okay, so yeah, that's it, my friends. That's all I wanted to show you. Uh, please let me know what you think down below and if you have seen this issue, whether or not it's the DAG or the size of it, if that's the issue. And of course, we will need a driver then. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.